It is an extremely hot August 7th afternoon around quarter past three here in Oshawa, Ontario. As you can see, the koi are doing well, having a great time out here. Um, the water is staying a little on the green side despite the UV units and everything functioning properly. And part of the reason for that is the fact that we are under an extreme heat warning at the moment. Um, temperature right now is in the mid 30s and with the humidity feeling even hotter. Uh, we've had that for a few days now. It's supposed to be like that tomorrow as well. And then gradually um, cool down a little bit on Thursday. So I am out here again to do my daily filter cleaning. And I'm just going to give you a quick look at the upflow filters that are doing an amazing job. I know you've seen them before, but if you take a look at the filters, now these were cleaned uh, yesterday, uh, given two good flushings, uh, the bubbling, and then followed by the dump of the water, of course, as were the Easy Pods. So they are absolutely packed with algae and debris. What I'm going to do now is get into my filter pit. I'll pick you back up again in a moment uh, once I get these uh, started cleaning and show you just how dirty they are in less than 24 hours. So I'll be back in just a moment. The cleaning cycle has now begun. I uh, will get a bit closer here just to show you. and You can see the condition of the water in these two filters. And again, 99% of that is uh, dead algae um, brought on by the UV units that are working in the uh, filter pit here. My 240 watt um, Danner units. And I'm going to let this go now for you know, probably a good 20 minutes to half an hour just to ensure all the uh, algae, etc. is beaten quite literally by the air out of the media. I'll drain it and then I will do another dump um, after uh, a second bubbling of course just to make sure that uh, things are taken care of inside here and then it will be the easy pod returns or sorry the e easy pod cleaning time I should say. Um, so I'm going to let these go now and again you can see just how disgusting they have gotten in, uh, as I said, less than 24 hours. I did these yesterday evening. So I'm going to let this go now for a while and get back into the house where it is much, much cooler and take it from there. The uh, pond, as I said, is, is doing well. The fish are doing well. Uh, my new um, top-up valve that I installed recently that I did the... Uh, segment of the video on here is right there. It has been functioning absolutely beautifully. It's doing its job. Uh, there's my Ochibo girl coming up for food as usual. They did get their silkworm pupa treat this morning. So they've had that already. Uh, water temperature when I checked it uh, around noon today was actually around the 28 degree mark. So it is definitely staying warm with this hot weather we're having. Um, I am very, very thankful that I managed to get my cover on here because that has definitely helped to keep the pond in a considerable amount of shade to uh, help keep the water cooler and keep the fish um, safe and happy. But as I said, they are doing very, very well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put you down, uh, let the filter upflow filters do their thing as far as cleaning and then I will be back out um, in about half an hour uh, show you what they look like at that point dump them and do another bubbling and we'll go from there so I will do a quick um, update on this video in um, a half an hour or so time take care all hope you're doing well The filters have been boiling for half an hour now. You can see the media is moving very, very well, and you can also see just how disgusting the water is. So I'm gonna set you down for a moment, get into the filter pit. I'm gonna drain these down, and I will catch some of the uh, 
water as it's coming out of the drain from the upflows just to give you a closer look at exactly what they are catching. Back in a moment. I am down in the filter pit. The upflow filters are draining right now. And you can see, hopefully, as I get a little bit closer here, the amount of debris and gunk, um, primarily, again, dead algae that is inside this container. Um, that's what the outflow filters are catching. So they are doing a phenomenal job. What I'm going to do now is uh, fill them back up again, let it go for another 15 minutes or so, then do another dump. And then I will get the easy pod filters going after that. So I will touch base with you again once I start working on the easy pod filters because I have a couple of ideas in mind for next pond season and I'll just kind of run those by you um, when I'm working on the easy pods out here. So I will update things in a few minutes. Just brought the container from the waste water from the upflow filters out into the sun just to give you a bit better look as the amount of particulate that is in that water uh, and again that is all or about 99% dead algae so you can kind of see how much they're capturing which is just phenomenal so I will be back again with uh, an update as I said on what I'm planning to do next year with the easy pods in just a little bit The second cleaning of the upflow filters is now complete. I've been running for about 20 minutes. I'm going to get into the pit and drain them, uh, get them back in service, and then I will get the Easy Pods cleaning. So I will again be back with you in just a moment. The upflow filters are now functioning once again, and I've just started bubbling the Easy Pod here. You can see in the, the channels. The amount of algae that is coming out um, from the media itself. Again, you can see just kind of how awesome that is with regards to the amount that this is collecting as well. Again, you can see it just right literally boiling out of here. So I'm going to let this run for about uh, half an hour, do another dump, and then do it again. And then I will do the same on the second easy pod here. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, just a little bit ago in the video, I'm considering slight modifications next season. I have to work on some plumbing ideas for that. Um, right now, the first easy pod that you see here is being fed directly from the bottom drain, and in turn, it is feeding the second easy pod. So it's collecting the, the bulk of the, the waste coming through, and the second one is almost like a secondary filter. What I'm considering doing, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet or if it's even going to work, is splitting the intake from the bottom drain into both filters. So both of them, both this one and this one here, would get fed directly from the bottom drain. So they would both be doing the same amount of uh, waste collection. And then they in turn would get hooked up running into the moving bed filter here. So as I said, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet. Um, I do have some ideas kind of in mind. It's something I'm going to try and figure out over the next few months. Uh, it won't be happening until next season. So I'm going to kind of work on what may and may not work, um, look into the various plumbing parts I would need, etc. to make this happen. Uh, but that's kind of a a future goal to maybe improve again the filtration on here uh, but as I said this is collecting a lot of waste and this was clean yesterday evening um, once I had done the uploads as I've just done now so I will uh, let this bubble as I said for about half an hour come out and do it a second time and then the second easy pod is going to get a second one as well or two of them I should say um, and then I'll get the system running again. So I'm not going to show you the cleaning of both of them. Uh, you know how that works. I just want to show you this one. And I'll show you once everything is back up and running. So I will be back shortly. It is now just past 6 p.m. on Sunday evening. You can see the upflow filters here. The big difference from earlier in the video. 
when they were just absolutely packed with algae. So they have been cleaned. They've had two very good uh, bubblings and then dumps. I've just finished cleaning the Easy Pod filter, so everything is back and running. Uh, and as I had mentioned before, fish are enjoying themselves out here. The new top-up valve is working away down here. I'll show you that in just a second. So you can see that the, uh, the valve is allowing the water to come in. So it's topping up. It saves me the hassle of uh, getting the hose out every time. Working really, really well. I'm just going to take another quick look at the temperature. See what it is because it is still extremely hot out here at the moment. Take a quick look, and you can see that uh, up around the 28 Celsius mark, 20, 26 Celsius, it's about 80 Fahrenheit. So it's definitely gotten warmer today. Uh, fish don't seem to mind at all. They're doing really, really well. Uh, the electric fence is doing its job because I just got a little zap when I took the thermometer up to take a look at it there. So everything is going well. Again, apart from all the algae which just seems to be proliferating in here. But fortunately, as I said, the filters are taking it all out. So things are looking good. My little mascot is on guard here. And I think with that... The maintenance on the pond is done for today. I'm going to be heading back inside with the air conditioning so it's cooler. And I will uh, provide some more updates before too long. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Feel free to leave a comment below. Your support is very, very much appreciated as always. Thanks, take care, and happy ponding.